sage, okay? This is your staple in your house for clearing. Anytime you have people coming over your house or staying over, especially the holidays ended, you want to have sage in your house and you want to burn it. I'm A lot of people will burn it. Um, they burn it like uh, just light this up. You'll get sage bundles. I think some of you know what I'm talking about. And they'll burn it and smudge corner to corner in the house. I'm a fan of that, but I'm more of a fan of, um, you know, I'm a recycling kind of gal. I take this must sage and I take it about um, maybe a good amount, okay, something like this um, amount, a little bit more, and I put this in a pot of distilled water. If you have a filtering system, never put it in tap water. I take this and put this over, a, fill up a pot, a nice size pot, and I fill it up with water, distilled water, and I add sea salt, Himalayan sea salt to the water to raise the vibration. I like the pink salt because it has a higher um, vibration and it kind of uh, changes the uh, frequency of the water, raises it. And then I put this in it, sage. Um, after I boil it, I take the pot, wait, and then I add my rose quart. I know I have a big one. This is for love and healthy um, heart vibration. This can heal your heart. Um, this is rose quartz. You can get this anywhere. I happen to live where crystals are very reasonable, but I would always suggest you have a huge rose quartz, especially if you're dealing with heart issues, um, heartache or sadness or um, regret. This is wonderful hat. I add this to my pot with my distilled water, my Himalayan sea salt and sage. You can add other herbs if you like. Um, some people like to add Florida water, which is um, a lot of people who are into voodoo, Yoruba, and things like that, or come from that kind of island background. Florida water, a little t a tab of it, the smell is wonderful. You add it to the water, okay? You boil it. Now, why I say you're going to, you know, I'm recycling, I'll tell you in a minute. So you do all that. You put it, um, you let it steep. You let it cool down just a little bit, but you want the steam to come up. You um, take a um, pot. Now, I'm showing you the bootleg version because I don't want you guys to go you can buy the actual system to sit down and steam your yoni, but you don't have to. I, I want you guys to do it now, and I want you to say, because women, we have a tendency to, oh, I'll do it when I get the money to buy the system to do it all right. No, do it now. You want to clear the energies because frequency and money comes in with healthier selves. So when someone's very healthy, they have a lot of abundance. That's a sign of uh, being having self-love is having abundance come easily and effortlessly. Okay, so you're going to steam the pot. You're going to take a potty chair. Now, some of you have little people. <laughs> some of you don't. Um, for those who have little people, you usually have a potty chair that you sit on top of your toilet. You're going to put this on top of your pot. Your pot should be the big round ones. Okay, big, big size. You put the potty chair on top of the pot. You take a towel or sheet and you sit on top. Now, that's why I say let the pot cool a little bit because that steam can be really hot. You don't want to burn your yoni. Your yoni is your sacred space. It should be treated well and pampered. You want to wait until it cools down a little bit so you can tolerate the steam that's coming out, you know? So you sit on top of the potty. Um, I would suggest doing this before, you, uh, doing this after you shower. Why is I'll tell you in a minute. You sit on top of the potty chair that's sitting on top of the steeping rose quartz crystals in there, sea salt, Himalayan pink salt is in there, and sage. You sit on top, you cover your, your legs and your midriff area, and you sit on the pot, I'd say like a half an hour, just read a book, do something on the internet if you want, and steam that yoni out. It is clearing out anything in there that's negative. It's also getting rid of um, the demonic energies that are in your womb that are sitting there enjoying the space, waiting for more negative relationships. They don't like it and they will disperse. Not totally, and I will, I will tell you what to do after that. So now you're clearing up your sacred space. You're, you're making yourself, you're loving yourself and, you know, spying your yoni, okay? So after you do that, I always suggest keeping the water because I use it for my hair. Um, sage is phenomenal for your hair. That's why I say boil it rather than smoke it because you can boil sage as a pot on your stove and it illuminates the whole house. It steams the whole house depending on your perimeters. And you could walk corner to corner with your pot that you just saged after you sat on and steamed your yoni. You can go from corner to corner in the house with that steamed, wonderful smelling, um, uh, you know, water 
um, that has the sage in it. And you can clear your house as well. I, you know, I always believe in utilizing everything together. So it has a, a purpose and also putting it in a bottle for your hair and spraying your hair with it. Also, it'll keep that love energy on you. Okay. So that's number one. We're going to clear our yonis. Now there's a thing called a yoni egg. Um, you'll look this up online. You can buy it on Amazon and so on. I would suggest getting yourself, especially if you dealt with heartache, um, pain, miscarriages, anything that's caused you harm in your womb. Um, the eggs are specifically yoni eggs. You cannot put a different kind of crystal egg. The crystals, I would suggest you get the, um, the uh, black obsidian one first and also the rose quartz egg. After you do the steaming thing, even if you don't have the egg, you're going to steam yourself. That's the number one thing. You're clearing out energies inside of you. I would suggest you do this once a month. If you have issues with males and dealing with a male that you've had numerous sexual contact with, you probably have STDs all over the place, sexually transmitted demons, you want to do this twice a month. Every two weeks, you engage in steaming. It'll get rid of the energies, and you'll feel phenomenal. Your yoni will be happy, actually. And... Um, You'll feel also the energy would be felt by the males that you were partaking with. So just be mindful, have some self-restraint, <laughs> don't answer their call. If they're going to feel that love energy and they're going to want to feed on it. Don't give away anything that they're not deserving of, okay? Um, remember, sex is, a, a, is an exchange of energies and you should only give to someone who's deserving of it. If you're, you have a yummy, beautiful, luscious. Um, stargate yoni you why would you give that to someone who's undeserving don't make them earn that okay so clear your yoni get these yoni eggs online i think they're like 35 dollars um black obsidian is the one to clear for yo you guys who are suffering from depression from sadness from anxiety from um feelings of worthlessness um lethar uh, lethargicness i would suggest you probably have an attachment to you, maybe transmitted through maybe a sexual partner. And I would suggest you getting the obsidian, black obsidian egg, yoni egg. It has to be a yoni egg. And you inserting that inside of yourself and clearing yourself at least once or twice a month with the egg. You insert, uh, when you go and get the egg, it'll give you directions, but you insert the egg. Make sure you clear the egg before you get it. Never put a stranger's egg because people have touched it, their energies on it. You don't know what and you know, clear, clean, clear everything that you get, your crystals and everything. So how do you clear it, Fleur Burn? Take that crystal, that yoni egg, sea salt, the, the rose quartz sea salt here, or see any form of sea salt. If you don't have this, don't hesitate, women, just do it. If the, all you have is sea salt at home, or you don't have anything but salt, use it. I prefer you do this in a, ha a half way than not do it at all. Put this in water, again, distilled water. <coughs> filtered water, put the egg in with some sea salt, allow it to clear for at least an hour, take it out, hold it, put your vibration of love, um, forgiveness on it, and then insert that in your yoni, and then you birth the egg. So I'm going to add a video for that so you guys have um, an idea of how to deal with the eggs. Once you do the obsidian egg and you use it, you want to kind of bury it somewhere like in soil so it collects the energy so you don't reinsert it again with that same energy on it. You want to clear your egg after you birthed it because it's taken all that negative energy and it's placed it in the egg. It's pulled it out. So you want to clear the egg. And what you usually do to clear an egg is bury it underneath the tree or in soil and let the energy disperse in the soil and then clear it again with the salt and, <coughs> and the water. Okay, and then you'll do the same after you do a month or two of the um, obsidian, then you'll en enter into the love, um, <laughs> the rose quartz egg, and you'll see, you know, you'll have your choice of healthier males after you do this to yourself. So we're clearing that our yoni space, okay? So you're going to do that. You're doing the smudging of the house. You want to clear that. You've cleared out all these negative males. Um, also, as we talk about males, there are negative females that are also parasitic friends, friends or family. You want to kind of clear them out too because they, they could be vampiric and um, feeding off of you. And again, you may be the parasite too. Um, and, <laughs> you know, I don't want to just say that you're the victim of something because usually sometimes when I'm speaking, there, there are those women who are also, um, 
you know, the ones who are just as parasitic and they are uh, the violators as well. So for you violators <laughs> that are having to we women, if you want to be a better person and do better things and maybe feel better about yourself, start clearing those energies as well. Start doing better. Stop engaging with males that are taken by others. Um, start, um, you know, showing self-love. And how do you show self-love? Okay. First, you have to start loving yourself, looking at yourself every way as a perfect person perfect being as you are without anything outside of yourself. I want you to start drinking water. That is some of my subscribers were wondering how they can switch over to more healthy system of eating and drinking. First, you have to start with your water. Water is very important. Now, you know, I filter my water. I have a triple um, water filter, a triple water tier, triple tier water filter and I magnetize my water. I add a huge magnet on my water as well. So I've been in this world a long time. Yeah. I, if you guys want more details on that, just email me. I'll give you more details. I don't want to waste the video on that, but you want to always make sure that your pH in your water is like nine. I don't know if you can see this is the right number, 9.5, um, pH or higher. Um, this is, um, this is, uh, essentials, which is great. Um, I don't like plastic water bottles. You know, I'm not a fan of this, but if you don't have a filtering system and so on, this is a great water. It has a high amount of pH. It will raise your, um, alkalinity in your body and get rid of anything acid parasites inside your body will pull in parasites outside of your body. So if you're all parasitic from eating crazy and eating all kinds of dead flesh and so on, or, you know, um, you just engage in drinking a lot of alcohol, which is distilled sugar, you're highly parasitic and you want to change that because inside of your body will manifest on the outside. So as parasitic as you are on the inside of you, all around craziness outside of you, chances are you got to get rid of those entities inside to make your outer world better. This is a suggestion I have for you. It's good. I don't like water bottles. So I use, if I have to buy water, me personally, I buy, um, glass and then I add chlorophyll. This is wonderful. It's an old, what is this? My, um, Starkey. It's, I get this from Whole Foods. It's like water, old mineral water. I love it. It's good. If I have to get water, I like this too. Um, cause I like the glass and you know, I will use this over and over cause I filter out my own water and I only generally use glass unless I'm going somewhere with my little people and I can't carry a glass with me because you know, it breaks so easily. And then I add chlorophyll. This is my favorite, the Sousa's. Not everybody likes it. I add about a tablespoon and, um, how many ounces, about 33, uh, ounces of water. And, um, this is phenomenal. I get my chlorophyll, which is chlorophyll is a mimicker of melanin, but I get my green in and with my little people, they love this too. They love the green stuff because I've been given it. It's no taste to it. It's wonderful. It's a deodorizer. It gets rid of things. It gets rid of metals out of you. You should be having, you should be having it at the beginning of cleansing yourself. You should be having two or three of these a day. Um, two is good if you're starting and it's hard for you to not go to the bathroom all the time, but start doing that, having that. And for all my women who've dealt with rape, um, sodomy, um, abuse from family or males, or, um, you know, I always suggest because you may have fibroids, um, fibroids is also a manifestation of womb trauma. Um, you, I love blackstrap molasses. This is great for iron, def uh, de uh, deficiencies. Um, this is phenomenal for, um, shrinking fibroids. Um, also if you're, you know, a, a woman of a certain age and you're starting to gray, this will reverse, uh, graying. Um, and I like to add this to my water. If you can muster two tablespoons a day, especially if you guys are anemic, this is phenomenal for you. If you're low in iron, this is great for you pregnant women. You have to get the black strap molasses. Plantation's great. It's unsulfured, unfiltered. This is the bomb.com. I, I, I should be the PR person. I love this. This is great. A friend of mine had put me onto this years ago and I use this as a staple sometimes. Um, when I just feel like I need more iron and taken, you can add this to your water if you don't like, it. it's like a Swedish kind of taste, but it's really good. You can put it on stuff if you don't mind it, but two tablespoons a day will clear out any issues with fibroids. It will shrink it. I don't know that it will definitely get it away, but it will help with that. And this is great for womb, um, you know, healing. Um, what else? Um, I, I don't know if you can see here. <clears throat> I sleep with aloe veras in my bedroom. See how beautiful she is. She's so pretty, right? I sleep with her. Um, she helps to clear the air. 
Um, she filters out the air. Aloe vera is something you great. It's great to sleep next to. You want to always put her outside it, as long as it's not too cold. I live in a warm region. You put her outside to get sunlight, um, but she should be sleeping next to aloe vera. It's great for detoxing your bedroom area and not having electronics around your room. Okay, it's another form of clearing. Um, you know, fluoride. Get it out your system. You know, I'm not a fan of fluoride. You already know. My little people, I use green beaver toothpaste because it has xibotol and it also doesn't have carrageenan. But this is great. This is like a charcoal, activated charcoal. 